Welcome to Applied Food Science and Engineering with Prop Vigent. Ever notice that pure fluids don't make stable bubbles? You can mix water all you like, and if it's just water, it's not going to create a stable foam. Let's zoom in and look at molecules. Water molecules are happily bouncing around and interacting with each other. And on average, this water molecule here is being pulled and pushed by those around it in a roughly symmetrical way. On average, there's no reason that the molecules above or to the left pull or push more than the ones below or to the right. But on the surface, the molecules on the sides and beneath the water on the surface are much closer and exert more pull than the much less dense collection of molecules above. This means the pulls and pushes don't balance on average, and the water on the surface experiences a net force pulling it in. This is where surface tension comes from. And it's why water makes little drops rather than spreading out on many surfaces or when drops through the air. So what's this got to do with a bubble? Well, a bubble means much more surface, but surface tension pulls against that, trying to shrink the surface. In any chemically pure substance, surface tension is going to win. What can we do? Add something, a chemical that will reduce the surface tension. These chemicals are called surface active agents. Surfactants for short. Surfactants preferentially collect at the surface. Soap is a really familiar example of a surfactant that reduces the surface tension of water, making it easier to create bubbles and to spread. Soap may not sound appetizing, but there are edible surfactants too, like some proteins, monoglycerides, and lecithin. Reducing surface tension is great. It makes foods easier to foam, makes food more spreadable, and easier to emulsify. But to make a stable bubble, it needs to do two more things beyond reducing surface tension. And we'll talk about those next time. Thanks for watching.